I was born in San Diego. And we moved up to Los Angeles and I went to high school here. And then I went to UCLA. And I got there and I guess I just stayed. <laughs> I uh, got my bachelor's degree there, my master's degree, and then my PhD, all from UCLA. I applied for a job teaching at a college, Chicago State. I was there for a number of years when Milt was an applicant for Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. And that's how we got to know each other. I first met Margaret and President Gordon when they came here for the presidency at Cal State Fullerton in 1990. They were friendly, outgoing, um, obviously intelligent, new higher education like the back of their hand. I was impressed with her from day one. But she was one of the inspiring leaders that I look up to from then on. Dr. Gordon worked at Cal State Dominguez Hills as Dean of Extension. She brought such innovative programs that they are hallmark of that university even today. So she was not just a first lady at Fullerton, but really a, an esteemed leader in higher education, providing access across the CSU. She always wanted to level the playing field. There are no job descriptions for a first lady, but I had a strong feeling that it was very important for the campus and the community to have a more personal relationship with the president. And living at the ranch was an ideal venue for entertaining. They were quite a team. They could work a room like nobody else. They were loved by everybody on campus. Marge was respected. I don't think there was anyone that wasn't impressed with the support as an advisor and a consultant she was to Dr. Gordon and how well she understood higher education in the California State University system. We had a number of events inviting the faculty over, but some of the most fun events were having the students over. We would always have a party for the Guardian Scholars and the incoming President Scholars to have them actually come into your home. Those were very special moments and I'm really very fortunate to have been able to have this. She was always present and she was always talking to the students, to staff, to management, to really inspire all of us to move this institution forward. Marge gave of all of her time, her energy, her intellect to support President Gordon and she was our first lady for 21 years and you couldn't have asked for a better first lady. What drives Margaret Gordon is our students. The drive for access, the drive for success of our students, drive for our diverse students. Cal State Fuller did not have a large freshman softball program. It was primarily uh, upper division, a transfer student. Uh, college life was not as well developed as it could have been. And those are important things that we had the opportunity to be involved with. And of course, when we came here, the campus was not terribly diverse. We made a special attempt at reaching out. We visited high schools throughout Orange County. I, I think that what we did during those years is very important for the development that the campus now is experiencing. She was involved from the very beginning to the very end, and is still involved as an associate emeriti. Once Milton passed away, I wanted to move back to Fullerton to be close to campus, to be able to take part in a lot of the activities that the university offers. I really love to see the campus today. I mean, I, I walk around. I, I wish that Milt could be here to see what, what has happened. To actually have set the stage for what the campus has become makes me feel really very proud. Cal State Fullerton became a part of our life. You know, we spent, what, 20 years together on this campus. It's a long time. So take advantage of opportunities that come up. Don't be afraid because that seems to be how so many wonderful things happen.